Uh, so this is an unboxing video for the Big Child Creative Stroke Massive Dragon Storm Coast Marauders Orc team for Blood Bowl Fantasy Football. It includes four uh, Orc linemen, one of which looks a bit like a thrower so it could easily be used as a thrower. Four uh, Blitzers, four Black Orcs, uh, a Troll, which is different to the Goblin team Troll, which is good. Uh, two Goblins, which are also different to the th Goblins that appear in the Goblin team. Um, an apothecary, a head coach, a cheerleader, and a fan, the sideline staff, uh, four themed uh, bases, enough standard bases for the rest of the team, two themed balls, two uh, re-roll uh, stroke turn tokens, um, a star player called Papa Jambo, who's a, who's a thrower, I'm not quite sure who he's supposed to represent, but he's very cool. Um, and an extra uh, black orcs, so five black orcs in total, that they added as a as a free gift due to the delay in the release of the team due to COVID uh, nineteen. Uh, so let's have a look at the matches. So here we have the insert for the lineman pack. We've got three one piece linemen. Uh, this guy, very much a kind of lineman pose. Very fine details, you can see. No casting mistakes or anything anywhere. Hardly any mould lines. And he's one piece. This guy is also one piece. Uh, he's got a, a hook to add to the nautical theme. The third one piece lineman. And this guy is the guy's very much like a thrower. He's sort of posed, ready to throw, holding the ball in both hands. And he's got this sort of cheeky half grin on his face and a goatee beard and a nice tricorn hat. Here are the blitzers, four of them. This first one, so my only concerns about the design really is he quite difficult to distinguish him from the black orcs. So this guy's a black orc and this guy's a blitzer. The others do look more sort of distinctive and they do look different to the black orcs, but I guess it doesn't really matter. You could choose to use this guy as a black orc instead if you want to, or um The others are a bit more different, I quite like this guy with his paunch and his glasses and his wrinkly face. He's a sort of elder of the team, maybe. Um, and his nice long coat. Yeah, I like him. And got, this guy's quite distinctive. He's got this sort of mask of stretched something over his face. Um, and he's wearing this big turtle shell on his back. Really nice touch. Yeah, I like him a lot. Nice sash, fantastic detail on that rope and stuff. He's really cool. And we've got this guy. Good dramatic pose for a blitzer. Definitely running forward on his peg leg. With a spike in each fist. And a cool kind of pirate captain kind of head. He's nice. And we've got this guy's called Papa Jambo. He's um, he looks like a thrower. I'm not exactly sure who he's supposed to represent, really, but he is really cool. So there's the body. He's got this bird creature. He's got a bunch of nautical kind of things. He's got his little parrot feathers. He's got a little crab crawling up his back there. There's the foot of the bird on his shoulder. And then the bird's head itself is this thing with a helmet on holding the ball in its jaw. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And there's his, there's his fists. 
and that's his peg leg which is a kind of giant crab claw which also has a little crab detail crawling up it or two really cool there's the themed bases just get four of those but they're all different I think that's a sort of free gift for him So here are the black orcs, looking bigger and chunkier than the lineman. He's got a nice hook as well, looking pretty heavily armoured as well. He's got a nice eye patch and a broken off tusk. And they are definitely chunkier looking than the lineman. And you've got this very nautical kind of pirate looking guy with his uh, ball and chain and anchor strapped to his fist. This guy in very much a blocker pose with his jaw guard, very chunky. And this slightly more dramatic pose of this guy here. And it's called Bandana, looking quite piratey as well. All of them look like their pants are about to rip at the seam, don't they? A bit more. This is the Troll and Goblins 3. So yeah, this could be used for Goblin or Troll team. So here's the Troll. Standard knock-kneed posture of all the ones. They're all different, which is nice. So this one's got uh, fins running down his back. There's one of them's got scales and one's got hair. He's pointing his finger up in the air, which is quite cool. He comes with a prone and stun token and two little goblins. There, there's his head. Upper and lower jaw. One of the two goblins, looking very pleased with himself with his nice big hat and feather in it. And there's the other one, running for it with the ball. See how long he can hold onto the ball for. It's got a nose ring, great detail on the teeth there as always. This is the free gift black orc. Um, really very cool guy. Looks absolutely hench. Um, does look a bit inspired by the new black orc team from Games Workshop with these uh, tusks attached to his jaw plate. Uh, but still, can't fault it. Very nice, big, chunky pegs and and holes in all the joints so that all the joints fit together very very snugly and definitely not gonna be very easy to put together and don't look like they can come apart nice peg on the back of the head there as well so here we have the four sideline staff so here's our coach there's monocle and whistle <laughs> great napoleonic kind of costume he's also got a sort of pencil in one hand and a Tiny cup of tea in the other hand with the little with his pinky sticking out. He is great, isn't he? With his shoe. And we got this uh, cheerleader, great big grin, wearing a bikini in this nice balletic pose. And holding aloft two decapitated heads on spikes. Very nice. And we've got this uh, fan and his soft drink, sunglasses, looks like he's having a hell of a time, banging on a drum with a bone. Again, like everything else, very nicely put together. Nice chunky pegs there. Nice holes. There's a slight error there, there's supposed to be a hole there, isn't there? the peg to go in, have to dig that out. It's 
rather mean looking apothecary and his monocle. <laughs> Not sure how that circular saw is going to help anybody get any better, but um, something nasty for pulling teeth or something. At least he's got a syringe. And he's got a fish in a bag. It's a nice little touch. Here are the tokens. So each one has turn on one side and re-roll on the other side, so you can use them as either. And there's a puffer fish ball. And then there's a octopus holding a ball. Ball. <laughs> Which is both like theirs very much. So all in all, the team looks very well constructed. Uh, incredible kind of fine details everywhere. Lots of nice nautical uh, themes added to all of them. Every miniature is completely different. Um, only one tiny little casting error that I've found there that looks not too difficult to solve. Um, and otherwise really good joints that look like they slot together very well without any uncertainty about which way round the arm goes, for example. They all slot in very definitely um, without leaving much of a gap, so I can tell. Um, 